guys, Kuro Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with Star Wars Rebels. Last week we had part one of uh, the premiere of season four of Star Wars Rebels. In which, what happened? Death. Yes, there Mom was. and Tristan died. Uh, yep. But we gained the dad. We Yay. did. Uh, Ulrich Ren, I think is his name. Yep. He's an artist. He is. It's going to be real helpful. Yeah, and he has one of the best voices that humanity has ever spawned. Morgan Freeman. It's true. Uh, Carrie Fisher. Hiroyuki Tagawa. Tagawa. Is that his name? I think so. That, you have uh, Shang Tsung, right? Yeah. Earlier, the, yes, what, last, last episode, Yeah. whenever it was that we did that one, you had said something, and you, there was a line you said, and I'm like, is that supposed to be Shang Tsung? What's he talking about? Because I couldn't. You were talking about like he wants your soul. Yeah, I, I, like, I, I said like you like his voice. You're, you're, hey, Rick was like, yeah, all right, it's all right. I'm like, imagine with more malice, and he wants your soul. <laughs> he was, oh my god, <laughs> your soul is mine. There's something about the way you said. I'm like, you must mean Shang Tsung. I tried yeah. to listen to it too, but I felt like it was there a little bit. But yeah. I, I definitely didn't hear like a Shang Tsung voice. Sure. I just kind of heard like yeah. his voice. No, it's just his voice. It's. The character he's playing, he don't, I don't think he needs a bridge. He's very, <laughs> he's very calm and yeah. artsy and uh, yet. different, you know? Yeah, he uh, played a voice in Star Wars Visions as well, which it's hard to recognize. Sure, but, yeah. Uh, well, let's yeah. see what happens with our Rebels. And the new weapon. Oh, Mandalorians. Yeah. There's like an X on the ground. You see that? That's a person. Well, yeah. An X person? That's not... Yeah. Oh, man. Is that Beskar? Isn't best car rare? There were rumors the Empire was working on a weapon to neutralize Mandalorian armor. That it had even been tested on our people. This is my work. I created the weapon that did this. And because of me, the Empire is going to turn my world into a graveyard. Because of me, Mandalorians are going to die. My mother and brother are... <gasps> hey... Lame. How? <laughs> what? <coughs> you imagine your death caller. Mother, <laughs> upset. Tristan, I, I thought I lost you. We were caught at the edge of the weapon's range. Thanks to your warning, we made it out. The others weren't so lucky. No. The Empire's coming back to finish the job. <laughs> she is not happy. She's mad. <laughs> not mad enough to shoot anybody, though. Or slash anybody in half. <laughs> not going that way. Oh, you all right? You'll all have to ride rocket. Better than the bike. Serene! Serene! We have to leave now! Alright. Let's go. It's not good. Aha! Gauntlet! Man! That was pack a punch. <laughs> that would suck to be shot by those. Those things take out ships. Weapons are down. We're losing power. I can keep us in the air, but we can't take another hit like that. Where are you going? Rouse said our weapons are down. Yeah. A Mandalorian with a jetpack is a weapon. It's like Superman. <laughs> no, or at least Iron Man. Ba, 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 ba. The flag. Dead! What would you do? Eject! I, mean, I guess, I mean, as long as it has one, I guess. Oh, yeah. Nice shot, rough. kid. Nice shot, Jensen. I'd be worried about, like, burning my thighs. Like, ah! ah! I'll put my legs too far back. I'd be right. afraid of shooting the rocket into my head. <laughs> Here. As 
you see, the Ark Generator's energy pulse is drawn to the Beskar alloy in the Mandalorian's armor, superheating it and instantly vaporizing the target. And all the while, doing no harm to our Imperial Stormtroopers. You're different than your brother. How would Gar Saxon feel about you betraying your heritage? He no longer feels anything. I have evolved. He's Mandalore dead. must evolve with me. Of course, the weapon's range is far more limited than you promised. Or perhaps you thought I wouldn't notice. I only had pieces of the prototype. I've done everything I could. You cannot make it work properly because you do not truly understand it. You need the weapon's creator. You need Sabine Wren. Governor, I mean no disrespect, but what will stop the Empire from using the weapon on us as well? Unquestioning loyalty, Captain. Now, find Sabine Wren. I mean, he's not wearing Mandalorian armor. He's wearing Imperial armor. I mean, they have like a different trooper armor though than the Stormtroopers, right? It they might do. still be Beskar just recolored. Almost be destroyed it. Is it? It could be. You're a Mandalorian. Why would you create such an abomination? This is the weapon of a coward. I was young. It was a challenge and I was arrogant. But when I realized the Empire tested it and actually planned to use it, I sabotaged the prototype and destroyed the plans. I thought that was the end of it, I swear to you. So why not make your armor out of something different? Ezra, the armor I wear is 500 years old. I reforged it to my liking, but the battles, the history, the blood, all lives within it. This armor is part of our identity. It makes us Mandalorians who we are. And now it's going to make us dead. Is Ulrich even wearing Mandalorian armor? No. Left as a whole. He's still part of the culture. I thought it was a little weird. He's like speaking about it, but he's not wearing it. Like everyone else is wearing it. He's like, I don't fight. I mean, he was a prisoner. <laughs> I guess that's true. He melted it and forced it into his paintbrushes. Sounds badass. <laughs> that would be kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. Sabine Red! We know you built that weapon. You betrayed us all. You were a traitor to Mandalore. Traitor! What were your weapons? Damn it, Rick. Conform! <laughs> Lame. <laughs> the Empire is using my prototype, but it's only functioning at a fraction of its capacity. At full power, it will destroy armies. So, you've got a choice to make. We can fight each other, <clears throat> or we can destroy this weapon once and for all. Sabine is right. Now is not the time for us to be divisive. She knows the most about this weapon and how to destroy it. We need her. Yeah. I'm surprised to see you so swayed by Sabine Wren. You seem to be as impressed with her as I am. I had my doubts, Rao. But she came back to face her past and her bold initiative has impressed me. She has become she a courageous leader. She reminds me of the best of who we were, and could inspire us to become more than we have been of late. What kind of ship is that, Eric? A uh, Sentinel class Imperial lander. Is he right? <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> First appeared in the special edition of Star Wars Episode Four. About 13 minutes into the movie. I can't help but notice the weapon's core is here. Thank you, Ben Rao. 13 minutes? I didn't know they had that movie for 30 minutes. It's behind the Dubecks. The Duchess? You named your weapon after my sister? The former ruler oh. of Mandalore. It was a series of bad decisions, okay? The, the peaceful leader of Mandalore? <laughs> Well, that was quick, right? Damn it. It's like when we try to do a stealth mission, all of a sudden fucking something happens yeah. with one guy, you take out that guy. I wanna and punch him! It. I get you, but look how cool Kan looks with that jetpack. And you're like, damn it, Eric, why'd you do that? 
And it always works out. Oh no, it's been activated. <laughs> Stay back, Captain. You are going to upgrade your little experiment and deliver a weapon that operates at its full potential. Never. I understand using the weapon against rebels, but if she makes it more powerful, how will we prevent the Empire from using it against all Mandalorians? I am the Empire. Palpatine has shown me the way to true power. That's a Palpatine move. <laughs> Lightning. Don't move. Oh. 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 I'm moving. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? This has gone to shit! You're doing the right thing, Sabine. This weapon of yours, it can unite the houses. It can bring peace. <laughs> you are a as fool, long as man. The people are on their knees before you and your emperor. At least we die free, as true Mandalorians. <laughs> Superman to it. <laughs> I got like, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, who wants that armor? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> they got an army. Chain lightning. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sabine, stop! Mandalore must be free! At what cost? To beat the Empire, this is the only way! It's not our way! For Mandalore. For Mandalore. do oh cool that looks so good thanks to beans kill count shot up a little a little bit i'm sure choppers killed someone there <laughs> we didn't see it good thing we didn't use the weapon to kill everybody yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is much more honorable it is <laughs> <laughs> they had a chance to escape you have the wisdom of a ruler. There's no one I trust to wield the dark saber more than you. And I am not alone. Clan Vistla is with you. Clan Rook is with you. Clan Elder is with you. Clan Kreese is with you. The protectors are with you. Clan Ren is with you. I accept this sword for my sister, for my clan, and for all of Mandalore. <laughs> A little higher. A little higher. You went back down. Told you a little higher. <laughs> I was like a little higher, you went up, and immediately went back down to where you were. Like, I thought you right. said too high. No, I, think, I was doing the Lando. Christopher Yoist. It's a little Ghost. <laughs> yeah, the, the screen is popping up after the, the credits are up anyway. It's not worth clicking the whole thing. Oh, righty then. What do you guys think? It's cool getting to see how like the weapon works. Yep. Yeah. That was yeah. so easy to just change to stormtrooper armor. Never to be seen again. I like that he's like, fix the range. He's like, okay, I'll hit the range button. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Cycle through modes. Yeah. Yeah, fix it here and now. Let's not capture everyone and then put safety parameters in place. Nope, nope, nope. nope, nope, nope. Make sure they haven't destroyed all of our plans. Mm -hmm. oh. No, no, Thrawn. 
Rick. <laughs> <laughs> he was real dumb here. I mean, they also had a war going on down in the other spot, too, and stuff, but I guess they could have... I don't know. If it didn't have the range, you couldn't use that against them then in, anyway. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Maybe he could have. Maybe he couldn't have. He should have focused on the capture part first, but that didn't seem to be the main focus because there was still war happening, and they were in the data core deleting everything, too. So, But he apparently knew that they were coming. Or maybe he didn't know they were coming, but he anticipated they were coming. He knew Sabine was going to come for the weapon, but maybe it's one of those things where it's like, well, she's not going to destroy it. She'll need this, right? Like Lord of the Rings, Sauron doesn't think, well, we're not going to destroy the ring. It's too powerful. They wouldn't want to do that. God, take him. We'll go take this ring. So maybe <laughs> something like that. Maybe. <clears throat> I don't like the, it's like, her mother and brother are alive. Oh, she must be so happy. Lame. <laughs> 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 I get what you mean, but it's just funny that, like... Oh, she's so devastated, and now she's less devastated. Yeah, it's like Luke, you know, has his moment of mourning or whatever, yeah. and then the camera pans over, and there's Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. Sure. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> but if all of the farmers of the Great Scott Salt Flat were dead, and, and, and <laughs> like, you know, because all of those Mandalorians still died, just those two didn't, got out of it, you know? So she still was responsible for many, many, many deaths. Yeah. But I also, there was a part of me that, that kind of agrees, so it's like, don't end your episode and then bring that in. But was this Aaron? Do you remember? Was this aired at the same time? This, I think it was. I feel like Rebels did some stuff like that. Yeah. Back when it was airing, Resistance did some really weird things. Mm -hmm. I think with their release schedule. Yeah. But Rebels, I think, would do like the two parts would happen. So it would just yeah. you'd go from one. It would be live on Disney Plus, and it would go from one to or not Disney Plus, but Disney yeah. Channel. So I'd go from one to the next. Feel like we watched this on the same day, and I had the same initial feeling of like, well, and then I was like, eh. I just watched it, so I don't care that much, you know. If I had the same kind of initial feeling, but I do think that our generator weapon is—it's hard to watch, especially with those mandos in the beginning. Yeah, no, and she picked up that one armor and just it's crumbled, just crumbled yeah. to pieces. It got you know? so hot, I guess. That's what Something. he said, right? Yeah, it superheats the armor. It's just a terrible way to die, and a very not Mandalorian way to kill someone. Mm -hmm. Which I think is the difference between like frying them in armor versus like oh, let's get the fuck out of here and then it blows up. It's like yeah, well they're still dead, you know. Don't they use flamethrowers? They do, but like in battle, not just like press a button and an entire army gets wiped out. You just gotta go over there and you gotta it's skill, baby. Mm -hmm. And they're most of them are in Beskar, so flamethrowers not gonna do much. Yeah, a lot of this season, not all of it, but a lot of this season, they released. Two episodes. I don't think like, I remember that. Yeah. Most days, mm -hmm. like a lot of the days that they were releasing, it was like this one came out too. Yeah. Like the next one came out too. Then there's like one. Then there's like two. <laughs> like so, a lot of them they did like two of them and stuff that they <laughs> went through. Hmm. I don't did think they, they did it the last season, but I wonder, do they now just make them like hour long specials because of syndication later? I don't know. Like, Possibly. I wonder what the reasoning is. Um, not. I mean, this one was obviously a part one, part two. Not all of them on this is part one, part twos. Mm -hmm. But there's still some that are like, we had two episodes that came out. It might have been two where they were just finishing it and they wanted to... Want to get it over with. Finish wrapping things up with some of the storylines or something, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. So, because, well, yeah. We did hit on a couple things um, with the Mandalorian culture that is kind of... I think, is this the first time that Rebels has called it Besker? I don't think Rebels has said Beskar yeah. the whole Because we were still in a weird canon thing with Beskar, but when it came out here, it's like, oh, okay, no, it is. It's just that sometimes they would, you know, Mandalorian made it, like, really certain, away from the Expanded Universe, that, like, Beskar can completely deflect, you know, yeah. lightsabers and all that stuff, because we've been seeing the Clone Wars. Mandalorian armor gets cut in half and sure. all that stuff. Yeah. I'm so. wondering, too, if there's, like, a... If there's different types of Beskar, or if there's just... There is Beskar, that's it. Because Maybe there's like Beskar iron and Beskar steel. Or like different gradients. Yeah, yeah because like in a lot of this, like they're shooting Mandalorians. And yeah. we've even seen here, like they, they shot and killed a lot of the uh, Imperial Mandalorians, which are just like Beskar armored, white painted Mandalorians. Yeah. But like you watch in Mandalorian with, uh, with uh, what is it, Din Djarin, mm -hmm. right? And 
he gets shot and it's just like reflecting and yeah. bouncing off and stuff too, you know? He, and he literally takes an impact. Has, like, yeah, he like punch, literally has plot armor that's yeah. just bouncing off. I wonder but too. But here they get shot and it just, it, it kills them or yeah. they fall and they get hurt and stuff, so. Could be a matter of like pure Beskar versus like Beskar Weave as well. They might not sure. have a whole bunch of it, so they kind of like intermix it with other alloys maybe. I don't know. I mean, the idea that Ren talks about here, or not, I mean, it is Ren, but being yeah. what she's saying about like, you know, I reforged this armor. Yeah. It's like, well, how much Beskar is, is Beskar rare, and that's why they reforge it. Yeah. Because they have to take what was there and they reforge it, and every time you reforge it, maybe it gets a little weaker or something. And too or something. like Mando, he only had a helmet for so long. Everything else wasn't Beskar. Sure. And then yeah. what he made his armor from was like pure Beskar, like ingots, ingots. as yeah. opposed to being like, well, I took someone else's armor and I melted it down and then made yeah. my own armor. So maybe there is some kind of like degrading property that's possible over time. So if you can get pure Beskar, it's much better. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. And then also, we don't necessarily know exactly what happens to, like, Mandalore. Like, in Mandalorian, they talk about some something that's going on, and it's, like, not not habitable anymore or something. And it could also depend on the skill of the forger, too, maybe. Yeah. Like maybe the forger in Mandalorian the armor. is just sure. yeah. much better. But Taking like, out the impurities and stuff. In Mandalorian, it seems like Beskar's definitely rare. Whereas here, it seems like, well, everyone's just wearing it, you know? So it's like, well, what happens? Is Beskar, like, wherever they mined it, did all the imperial... Like, the Empire's kind of newish. Not really. I mean, how old is it? 10 years? 12 years? Yeah. So I guess they're not that new. So they've been around. They could have taken a lot of the Beskar, maybe. And well, they're obviously, they're on Sandari. Mm-hmm. So, how I don't old know. Is, um, the Empire's as old as Ezra here. Yeah. How old is Ezra? Yeah. yeah. I think he's like 14. He's like 16. I think he's like now. Was he 14 in the first yeah, season? Yeah. season maybe? four, I think we're there only was like a, There was a short time before. jump, right? So... There's a he little bit cut. here and there when you can yeah. tell that like, he's aged a bit more. Yeah. So, but I don't know. There's definitely some. I feel like there's some questions around like Mandalore and Beskar that I have as far well, as like here's what we get from like Rebels a little bit. Here's what we've been told from Mandalorian. Like, yeah, like what did happen? We've been told that Mandalore isn't habitable. How rare is Beskar really? Like that kind of stuff. They seem How, to almost get wiped out. And the question I know that we had, too, that we didn't really talk about during Mandalorian is that in Mandalorian, it's very much said that a Darksaber can only be passed on through winning it, you know? But here, she actually gives it to Bo-Katan, so the kind of consensus that we didn't really get a chance to talk about because you guys haven't seen this is that, well, it might be that you can be given it, but if it's won from you, you can't be given it again. You have to win it back. Maybe. So, like, let's say Moff Gideon takes it from her she has to then earn it back again like through battle so maybe the like maybe you can be given it but if it's taken from you you can't just be handed it back anymore you have to actually go get it possibly there could also be elements maybe where it's that's uh, a theory I have where there's ideas of like in here we had like five clans being like yeah. we will follow you Bo if Sabine's willing to pass this on yeah we're that, willing to that's follow the you. thing and, and there's like awesome. more of an element to it than just like Sabine being like here you take this now and being like well I mean, yeah. Sabine will probably yeah. never be seen as like, oh, she's the perfect Mandalorian. She's always going to have that stigma of like, you made this weapon, thing. and especially having Thrawn be the one to point it out. Like, this is an insult to your tradition, an insult to your culture. Like, Thrawn very much studies culture and art, so he can take advantage of that in battle. So, I wonder if there's a part of him that's like disgusted by this, but also it's like his thing. Maybe. <laughs> well, because he appreciates the... art as well in yeah. tradition. He appreciates it in so far as he can use it yeah. to defeat that culture. Mm-hmm. I really like with Sabine and Bo in this, like the conversations they kind of have about each other. Where like even Bo is like, I think she'll push us and combine, like kind of like unite the Mandalorian people in a way that they haven't been in years. Yeah, because they've been so spread apart and destroyed because of Saxon and. Maul and the Empire and all this stuff. You know, even Clan Vizsla was here, which yeah. was, you know, Death Watch and stuff. Mm-hmm. And they were not for Duchess Satine and a no. lot of what Mandalore was for and whatnot. And, mm-hmm. like, so many of them were here for, like, Bo-Katan. And, like, you have her saying, like, Sabine's going to help us combine everything. Sabine's like, well, if without you, I would have done some bad things and stuff, too. Like, they're talking about, like, honor and, com- like, keeping all the forces together and stuff. So, and she totally. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they should. I don't and know if they have that, but... She is part of Clan Chris, 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 which was the ruling house before the Clone Wars, right? I mean, granted, they were pacifists sure. then, and now they're very much not right now. Um, I don't know Clan 
Eldar. Yeah. I don't know that one. Yeah, I, there um, are. I love their colors. Mm-hmm. But Rook, we, we had a Rook before, I mm-hmm. think. Yeah. Uh, which I think was on Saxon's side, mm-hmm. if I recall. I think that was like Saxon's like second in command. Yeah, that was the one that... Uh, it was a girl. The other girl that had the... Like a dark visor stuff, mm-hmm. yeah. So that was a rook. So it's neat to see, like, well, I remember... Well, I guess when we watched this, we didn't have season seven. Like, yeah. I don't think that we had rook or any of that kind of stuff, too. So no, they just we did some not. stuff. But it's neat to, like, going through it the way we have been, we're mm-hmm. seeing, like, oh, look, here's Vizsla and Rook, and then we have Rin and Kreese and Eldar, whoever they are. And, like, but they're all kind of coming together, kind of a green, like, yes, let's bring back our clans together and unite, so... Mm-hmm. Cool to see that. Before the only one was Vizsla, where it's like, oh man, Vizsla's here. <laughs> well, good. And then we had a Vizsla in Mandalorian. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, pre Vizsla. Happy, right? Oh, Mandalorian. Oh, um, uh, pa- Paz Vizsla. Paz, Paz Vizsla. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Favreau was yeah. him, right? Or he, at least voiced him, I think. I think he voiced him, and then the big guy from the first episode, I think, was inside the armor. The guy that got beat in the bar. I can't remember his name right now. Um, the guy from SNL? No. no oh, no, the guy that he fought. No, the big, big, like, okay. strong guy. I see. Not Horatio Sands. <laughs> yeah, I was like, he was in it? I didn't know that. That's some shit. <clears throat> I like the one Mandalorian being like, what if they use this against us? Yeah. And then that, the, yeah. the guy that he's talking to literally uses it against him because he doesn't care. <laughs> like, I mean, he has stormtroopers come out. There's no Mandalorians with him. The promise of the Empire is like, <clears throat> we're going to come in, we're going to help you out, we're going to fund you, you're going to you are going to be a leader of your people. And then most people don't think, like, what if you just fuck me and then you do all that? Well, That's and generally what happens. Like, if you're breaking all these traditions, are you really a leader of your people anymore? Exactly. Like, at sure. what point are they not your people anymore? Like, yeah. he's not even wearing the armor. And, then, mm-hmm. and he's the one who said about how important their armor is to them, you know? Yeah. Otherwise, we're just soldiers. We're not Mandalorians. Like a glass samurai. You know? Yes. And then he shows up and he's wearing, like, a stormtrooper helmet instead yeah. of a Mandalorian helmet. And, and seemingly uh, personally being promised things and, and learning at the feet of Palpatine, which it's got to feel real good for Palpatine. After all those years of the Republic and the Clone Wars, that he just gets to like do this stuff. It's not like Dooku doing it in my stead. Yeah. And he's in the shadows. Or like tricking the Senate into yeah. doing things and, and stuff. And we know Vader doesn't necessarily do that. Like, every time people talk about Vader, it's about, oh no, he'll kill us. <laughs> it's, there are things worse than death, you know? Yeah. But Palpatine, will, he promises his power. And, you know, he, like, for not being a Force user, he effectively went to the dark side here. Yeah. And was literally doing a Palpatine move by shocking people. <laughs> yeah, he used his, he used a Force power yeah. against Mandalorians. He did. As a Mandalorian. Yeah. That's, that's gotta said, be. He said Palpatine had showed him the way. Shameful. Which, the children of the, uh, the Watch and Mandalorian co-opt that. This is the way. This is the way. But so, yeah. we know... The dark saber has another owner. Mm-hmm. We know it goes to at least one other person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. The person that we know that has it now is trying to get it back. Sure. Like at this point, we like we know Bo has it. At some point, we know Gideon gets it. Yeah. Yeah. But like, what happens in between? Where else do we go in between? Yeah. I, and I, I believe in the Mandalorian, Bo does say, "Like, help me get it back." Yeah. Right. So. And then he tries, and then, and then she's like, "Fuck, you beat him." <laughs> <laughs> so I do look forward to that stuff happening in Mandalorian season three, if that's where we go. Sure. No, it'd be interesting to see. I'm curious, like, I'm curious on like other shows too, because we have a lot of other Star Wars shows kind of starting to pop up and do things, and like in the time spans that they pop up, I wonder yeah. if we'll get more stuff with Mandalorians. I wonder if we'll get more stuff because I feel like there's a gap that I want to know about between like. The, the birth of the, the Empire yeah. to, like, what Rebels is and Sabine and whatnot. Because, mm-hmm. like, we kind of get some ideas here, but, like, what happened in between that time? Yeah. And there's a lot of, like... That, that's a big year, like, what, 15-year gap or so of, like, all we really have in that is Solo, right? Like, there's... I think there's some comics and some books and stuff that fall in that place. But as far as, like, movies and TV shows and whatnot, like, there's, there's no... There's a big gap there. I think that's where... Uh, what? Andor... Mm-hmm. Right, I think it's going to take place somewhere in that yep. area. Um, I don't know about some of the other ones. Yeah, like Jedi Fallen but... Order and stuff like that, right? Sure, but even that one there too is like Force Unleashed. You get a little bit Force Unleashed, yeah. <laughs> which... But in Fallen Order, like you get a little bit of that because it kind of like cuts back a little bit and shows you some like 
some earlier like stuff. Empire starting one up, but you get like he's still, I don't know, probably close to this time frame, yeah. right? Like it's like 10 to 15 years, probably it's closer, yeah, towards mm-hmm. the Rebels' time than it is like in that middle gap. So, I'm, I'm honestly, I mean, Kenobi's gonna be great, I'm looking forward to everything, but I'm really looking forward to Andor. Just because I recently rewatched Rogue One, which I've been doing a lot, but uh, there's just something about the way Cassian talks about all the shit that he did. He cannot be in vain. It can't be not worth it because he did some really shit. bad shit. You know, I think it's going to be interesting the Rebel intelligence side, where it's like they're not heroes in a sense. I mean, they're working for a good cause, but they are literally murderers, assassins. Saboteurs, spies. Well, I wonder how like good stuff. dark it would go. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it's Disney for one. Like you know, Rick's a lame. Kill him. You sure. know, it's a kid show. Like, yeah, kill the family. I mean, this was on you Disney. Know, but, yeah, sure. E- even like, but like, I wonder Satine like not killing is in that sense. Like, how dark would Cassian go mm-hmm. in the series? Just because like. If he's if he's doing things like this, and you're like, we well, never killed anybody. They just all blew up, and it's like, sure he did, but he didn't. Like I just wonder how, like, in Rogue One when he just kills that one guy, yep. you know, climbs away. Yep. He's like, what? Well, he just said, "Fuck you, I'm out." Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like I don't know. Yeah, he was gonna kill Galen Erso. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I'd be curious to see what they do with that. And he's been doing it since he was six years old. <laughs> 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 and that's one thing too is they may do some flashback things in that yeah. that kind of cover a, a varying sure. timeline of events. You know, I don't know how old he is in Rogue One, but. He was probably born, like, during the Republic era, right? Yeah. And then he lived for mm-hmm. whatever, but... Rick, Mina, have you played Fallen Order? You haven't played that yet, Tim. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a good game. It is. It's fun. Sh- should have you do that, because, yeah, time- time-wise now, like, after I finished up all of Bad Batch and we were getting into, like, Solo and Rebels time, I was like, kids, if you want to check out Fallen Order, you can see and play it and see what the story is and whatnot, so... I've been trying to get them to play it, too, so be good to get you to check it out and see story-wise and i think you've played like dark souls and stuff i have it's similar i think it's a little easier but it's similar to those not as unforgiving <laughs> having yeah. not played dark souls there were moments where i'm like fuck this game i can't beat it i was a kid if i was your kid's age i wouldn't be able to play it well leon started trying to play demon souls yeah. that game's so much harder yeah. than yeah. what jedi fallen order gotcha. is gotcha so i'm like why don't you check out jedi fallen order and i well, said it's kind of like demon souls but i think it's not as bad and it has difficulty and you can change levels difficulty too. levels, yeah. Yeah. which is yeah. a good thing to do, too. I started replaying Fallen Order, and I put it on the hardest difficulty. I'm like, I'm going to get on the hardest difficulty. See how I do. So The Grandmaster or whatever. Yeah, whatever it's called. I forget. So I did that. I actually had to buy it because I didn't own it. Only Blindway owned it. Mm. So I'm like, oh, I'll buy it. It was on sale. Bought it. And started playing. I just switched to the Blindway account and play all our games. Yeah, but I want to get trophies and stuff yeah. from me. He wants his uh, account. It's on his account. Yeah. All that. So. <clears throat> all right. Well, that was that. See you next time. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe as we will be covering all kinds of Star Wars stuff, whether it's Cassian Andor or Mandalorian, Book of Boba, more Rebels, which there's more Rebels over at Patreon.com slash Blind Wave right Kenobi. now. I didn't forget about Kenobi. It's coming at some point. Kenobi! Also, if you want to see uh, live streams over at twitch.tv slash Blind Wave, follow us over on Twitch. You can find that in the description as well. Uh, we play games like Star Wars uh, Fallen Order and... Uh, squadrons and all kinds of stuff. <laughs>